gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I'm the Nigerian Nemesis and in today's video I'm gonna be bringing you guys a very strong Mega Knight Expo deck This combo is so deadly me and Kami Salad have been using this in 2v2, but it actually works really well even in Grand Challenges. So here's the deck, guys. We're going to be using this today in our Grand Challenge series and see if we can string together so many wins. So basically with this deck, your main damage dealer is obviously going to be the Expo. You've got the Mega Knight as a control card, sort of if they bring in a very big push and you need to shut it down, get your Mega Knight on top of all of their push and you will absolutely destroy it. And then of course you have the Knight and the Mega Minion, two very good cards at defending your Expo. And then you have the Bat, Ice Spirit, and your Fireball and Log as your two main spells in the deck. If you do need to make substitutions for this deck, I would say switch out the Mega Knight for the P.E.K.K.A. and trade out the Log for the Zap and it should work just fine. So let's hop right into some Grand Challenge matches and see if we can continue roasting kids outside of 2v2. Of course, we're going to start the video off with the question of the day. This one coming from Juanmi Gamer and he asked me, am I the first person in my family to go to college? And my answer to that is no, I am not the first person. In fact, my older brother just graduated from college. Let's go with a night push right here. But yeah, my older brother just graduated from college. My younger sister did just enter, enter college as well. So there are three of us in college right now. He's going for his master's degree. So in the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know what grade you are in. And let me know how your school year is going so far. We can talk about that. But here we go, focusing on the battle. Now we're going to go with a fireball on the musketeers on the right. Get our log ready. And against this deck, it might be a little bit difficult because of that minion horde. If he supports anything with a minion horde, we might end up getting beat really badly. Let's go with Bats in the back. And he's going to go with that route. I'm definitely okay with that. We're going to go with a Mega Knight. Boom, right over here. That's going to clean up. Unfortunately, though, it's not taking down his Musketeer, which is what I wanted it to do. And now we took a lot of damage from the Muskie, but that's going to be okay. He's got an Ice Golem. Very, very good play on his part, but I think we'll be good here. We're going to go with an Expo on the right. So let's get that down right now. Get our Ice Spear ready for action. We've got the Knight ready as well. Mega Knight will get a jump off there and we are connected. So he was definitely very surprised by that. Unfortunately though, we did not have our Fireball ready. So we're going to have to go with a Mega Minion to defend. And that should clean up the remainder of his troops and we will be fine. We've got his right tower down to 1065. So we've got to save our Fireball to take down that one Musketeer that goes on the right tower. Although that might be just a little bit risky. We will see. It all depends on how it plays out here. So let's get our knight ready for action and we might actually just push with knight and bats he's gonna go that route so let's go with a knight right here get our bats over the top and see if he actually responds this he's gonna go in with a dark prince probably gonna be forced to zap yeah there goes the zap so fair play on his part definitely and we have log i'm actually just gonna eat this this dark prince damage we're gonna eat that we're gonna send on our expo right here unfortunately we didn't entirely eat it so that's gonna be a waste of six elixir guys and now the ice club is out in front so that's gonna be a very very bad play from us let's go ice Spirit in the back right here we're gonna go with a fireball for the left musketeers we've got a log for that if we really really need it but i don't think we will let's go with a knight right here and his musketeers will die on that side we're gonna go with bats now and well, I'm okay with eating Dark Prince damage. He doesn't really do that much, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's go with an Expo now. Save our Fireball for that Minion Horde that's definitely coming right over here. Where is the Minion Horde? Bring it to me. We're going to Fireball that down. We are locked onto that tower, so boom, that's going to take it all away. We are locked on. Is he going to use a Zap there? He's got to use that Zap, guys. Ice Golem will go down, though, so we are going to be locked onto the tower once again. We are right back here in this game. We're going to go this route with an Ice Spirit, and we'll go Mega Knight on the right, and we'll go Knight on the left. That should counter his Musketeer. We'll go with Bats over the Miner as well. And guys, a very, very solidly well-played game on our part. Fireball going down to take down the Minion Horde. And that's what I'm talking about. The Mega Knight Expo combination is just way too strong, especially for a three Musketeer deck to stop. We've got the counters with the Fireball Log. We've got the Mega Knight. Even the Knight it does a great job against two Musketeers. So a very strong deck overall. Let's hop right into the second battle and see if we can continue handing out these row sessions and putting up W's on the board. So here we go. Hopping into the second battle up against Pac-Man 13X from 100 Proof. We've got the Ice Spirit, Mega Minion, the Mega Knight, and our Log in the starting hand. So we're going to go with an Ice Spirit here. He's going to go that route. So fair play to him. Let's go get our log ready. We're going to log all this back. Boom. We're going to go bats here. Oh, man. We're going to take a dash from that musketeer. Unfortunately, or not from the musketeer. From the bandit. So well played on his part. Very tough deck to stop in that very opening push. 
Oh, uh, we didn't. Do we have our log? I think we did. I'm not too sure if we had our log or not. But either way, good start to the game for him. Our, ooh, we almost got a shot off there. We'll go Ice Spirit right here. And we'll go with a Knight on top of the Mega Knight just to quickly take him out. That's going to go down. <laughs> I'm getting all my troops mixed up. The Knight on top of the e -Wiz, And hopefully we get a couple of shots off. If not, we've got our Log and Fireball to support. He does have a Pekka. Okay, so we're actually going to go... We're going to go Expo defensively. And get our Bats over the top. And hopefully that does a lot of damage. I don't think he has a Zap. He does not. So we've got our Log. Let's go ahead and Log all this back real quick. And then that should slow it down. And Pekka better not get a shot off. Pekka will not get a shot off. So we are going to be okay. The Barbarians will charge but not get a shot onto our Expo. So actually a very good defensive run for us there. And we should actually force in the Mega Knight. I'm not sure what he has in the air. But he doesn't have the Pekka. And the Pekka is the best counter to our Mega Knight. So let's see what happens here. We're going to go this route. We're going to go here. And get our Ice Spirit over in the back. And hopefully that's good. He has a Mega Knight as well. Boy that should be okay though. That should be okay. Let's clean up the Mega Knight really quickly with the Bats. And hopefully we can get a couple of shots off. But it's not looking like it right now. Mega Knight will take that out. Bats moving forward towards that tower. But this is going to be a very tough game. We will only get one Bat to get a shot off onto the tower there. So not too good. I believe we can shut him down though. I think we can shut him down. So let's get ready for action. Let's get our Knight down in the back left. And all we need really is one Expo to lock onto the tower. He's going to go that route. So we're going to go Expo right over here, guys. Hopefully we get the lock-on that we're looking for. Let's get our Knight down ready to defend it. So we're going to go Knight here. That'll easily defend against that push. And hopefully it gets a lock-on. It will not because of the uh, Battle Ramp. Battle Ramp should go down, though. Let's go ahead and Fireball all this. We're going to go Mega Minion over the top here. Boom. Stop that push. Come on, tower. Take it out. We're going to go back. Let's go with an Ice Spirit now. And it looks like we're going to take a shot on the left-hand side. Was it worth it? <laughs> Not too sure. He's going to play another P.E.K.K.A. right there. So let's go with a Knight in the back now. And it looks like our Expo is doing some work. The Mega Minion is also doing some good work. So we're going to go with a Mega Knight. And that should be a decent counter. And then we can get our Expo down. So the counter push should do some serious work for us. P.E.K.K.A. should go down soon. I'm okay with taking a shot from that Battle Ram. As long as we get a lock on here. Where is his Mega Knight? There it is. Bat's doing a great job on the other wing, taking it down. We're going to go with an Ice Spirit over here. Get our Fireball down over the top. Definitely worth it at this point in time. We should be able to take out that Mega Knight quickly. Come on. Yeah, Mega Knight's down. We were locked onto that tower. So we're going to go with a Knight right here in front. And we will go with... Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. We're going to go with a Mega Knight now. Take down the Banner. We're going to go with Bat over the top to defend. And he just cannot get through. He does have that Ewan, so we do have to be careful. Let's log it all back so that it doesn't make us retarget. The Expo is still doing... So much work to that tower. The Expo is still locked on. He played all the cards in his deck. He just could not get through. And the Expo is going to absolutely needle that tower down. That's what I'm talking about. 2-0 on, on the day. And this deck is just working absolute wonders. So let's hop right into the third and final battle. See if we can have a clean slate and make it 3-0 up against one Hive Hunter. And he is not in any clan. So maybe I should invite him to the clan afterwards. We've got our Bats, the Mega Knight. <laughs> The Mega Minion and the Knight in our starting hand. So let's go ahead and split the Bats in the back. Get our Expo ready. He's going to go that route. So we've got to go with a Knight here. Just to take down the Goblin. Make sure we don't take too much damage. And then he has the Elixir lead. So he should play something next. If not... Okay, there we go. We're going to go Fireball here. Take that out nice and easy. We've got our Log in case he... Okay, so he has Bandit. We've got to use our Mega Knight though. Because I'm pretty sure he's got Battle Ram. Almost pretty sure. Mega Minion will clean it up nice and easy. The Bandit shouldn't get a dash. <laughs> shouldn't get a dash off, but she definitely did there. Let's go with Ice Spirit in the back. And get our Mega Knight ready for action. So we've got our Ice Spirit down. We actually took a shot onto that Night Witch there. So we'll go here now. Oh, this is going to be a beautiful chance for a counter attack. Well played on his part, zapping that down. So now that we've got our Knight down, he is definitely down in Elixir. Let's go ahead and play our Expo and see what he has to answer this play. Does he have a Golem? He's got a Giant. That's the one thing that would save him, so well played for sure. Let's get our Mega Minion over the top. Try and take him out as soon as possible. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We are not going to take him out. This is going to be a rough game, boys. Rough, rough game. Let's get our Fireball ready for the Bandit and the Minions. So we're going to drop off a Fireball right here. So good defense on our part. We definitely mitigated the damage, but he's got a giant to distract our expo. So it might be a while before we get a lock onto that tower. Either way, I'm not too worried about it. We've got to be worried about the miner getting to our tower. And I think we'll be fine after that. So there he goes, starting off with a knight, which we're going to get our miner down. Or we're going to get our knight down in the back. So let's get the knight down and get our expo ready for a counter attack. So split goblins, definitely okay with that. Let's get our log ready for the bandit. He's going to go that route. Fair play to him. 
Fair play to him. Let's save our Mega Knight until now. And boom, that's going to go down. Unfortunately, that giant will get maybe one or two shots off of the tower. Let's go ahead and Ice Spirit it up and get our Expo down, guys. This is the time. This is definitely the time. So we're going to go Expo now and get our log ready for action. Obviously, he has the minions. So we've got to make sure... Oh, no. He's going to go that route. Well played. Let's get our knight in front of all this. Try and take down the... Oh, there goes the miner. Let's get our log ready. I'm actually going to log this. No, that's actually a terrible log. We did manage to get a shot onto that tower, though. Or a couple of shots off with the Expo there. But not the best thing in the world. Let's go with Bats in the back right here. We'll go Ice Spirit. We're going to go with a slow Mega Knight. And then get ready to counter that Miner. He's doing such a great job. There he goes with the Giant to block everything off. So we're going to go with a Mega Minion over the top. And see what his answer is to that. Get our Fireball ready for the uh, Minions. So let's go here. We'll go with Bats. And that's going to be a good Fireball. It should take down a couple of those. I think we missed one of them though. And now here he comes. So we're going to go here with an Ice Spirit. We'll go here with a Mega Minion. And I don't believe he's back to, uh, I don't believe he's back to that giant. If he is, that's going to be a good game. He's back to the giant, guys. So tough game for us there. The giant's going to block all of those shots. Let's go with a knight down on top of it to get our ice spirit ready. But he's going to get that miner onto the tower 100%. Let's go here. We'll go with a mega knight, or mega minion. And we've got log, but that's about it. So we've got to force on some offensive pressure. Get our mega knight down for his miner. We've got to guess right, too. So we're going to go here. Oh, we guessed right. We guessed right, but the Miner still got a shot off onto the tower, guys. Let's go ahead and fireball this down. Did he get it off? Oh, well played on his part. Well played. Good game. He just, he had that giant to block, and then he also had the Miner to get around our Expo. So fair play to him, and good game. So as you guys can see, the deck does work really well in Grand Challenges. You just got to make sure you can get your Expo down and get your Mega Knight down in a counter-pushing situation, and you should be fine. And if you had a P.E.K.K.A. in that certain matchup, you would have done better because the P.E.K.K.A. shreds right through the Giant and the Mega Knight sort of takes his time. But if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. And I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!